Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms and going to be looking at our trampoline today. So you can see the uh, the poles going up or kind of not looking the best. If you bought one of these for your kids or your grandkids or nephews and nieces, uh, one thing, you get a couple good wind storms and these poles just like bend and snap. And I had two of them that that bent really bad. I ended up fixing those. And now the rest of them, we got a pretty good wind storm. They pretty much gone. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to fix them. Pretty inexpensive, just uh, some piping you can get at the hardware store. I've already pulled the one that snapped off and I'm gonna use it to see exactly what size I need. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I've got this pipe here. You can see how the end where it snapped at pick a hacksaw, angle grinder, in my case it's a uh, sawzall, and cut it off where it's kind of mangled here. And then that way I can take this pipe with me up to the hardware store to see what I need. Okay, so I ended up getting all the parts I needed to fix the trampoline. I've got them all sitting here. I've got the original pipe that broke in the last video uh, that I was shooting. Uh, I was showing, I believe, the uh, how the edge was kind of jagged. I cut it off with a angle grinder. Took the little padding out. It just uh, they just unsnap from uh, the other pipe. You see the other two, this one here is leaning. It's going to have to be replaced too. The other thing when I'm finished is I'm going to come back. It's just a little jagged. I'm probably, uh, I'm either going to see if this will pull out. Uh, sometimes they do. Sometimes they're attached to the leg. If it's attached to the leg, then I'll probably just get the angle grinder and cut it flush just to make sure there's nothing where someone might cut their foot. Parts I ended up getting is a uh, reducing coupler and just a couple pieces of pipe. And of course the Homesteader's secret weapon, zip ties or cable ties, use those all the time. And here's one that I already did fix from a while back. And basically what I did is I've got a pipe big enough that this will fit inside. It screws into your coupler and then I've got another pipe uh, going into the other side of the coupler, and it's just, uh, some of them are zip-tied, some of them have radiator ties, uh, hose clamps, whatever you call them, which is what I'm eventually, I'll replace it with, but right now I forgot to get radiator clamps, so I'm just going to zip-tie it on there. So uh, pretty straightforward, but like I said, we're just going to put this together. I'm going to attach it to the side down here. And then I'm just going to slip the pipe back in, and it should work. Okay, now we got it in. Probably put more zip ties than needed, but like I said, wanted it, wanted it just to hold until I get the radiator clamps. I mean, you don't need a whole lot of strength to it because, you know, other than a kid maybe bouncing against it, uh, these really don't hold a whole lot. I mean, they're pretty flimsy when you first get them. But anyway, that's how we did it here. Hope it helps. Uh, if you've got the same issue, give you some ideas. The parts, uh, I think that was $25 in pipe was it. So, you know, not too expensive. I guess we got to replace all of them. It might add up. But uh, usually when we do it, it's like one at a time. So, you know, it's kind of stretched out. But. Hope it helps you out. If you enjoy the channel, get inspired by the channel, uh, we always appreciate likes, telling your friends about it, subscribing. It helps the channel grow. Till next time, have a great day.